Hello, my name is Madeline Hay, and I'm a student at Comp Northwest. I'll be discussing our research on the relationship between preoperative anterior chamber depth and postoperative intraocular pressure in non glaucomatous, non ocular hypertensive eyes following cataract surgery. Previous research has demonstrated that anterior chamber depth increases and intraocular pressure decreases in the long term following cataract surgery, but past studies have shown conflicting results on how preoperative anterior chamber depth affects postoperative intraocular pressure. The purpose of this study was to determine the relationship between preoperative anterior chamber depth and postoperative intraocular pressure following uncomplicated cataract surgery. We analyzed data on 288 eyes undergoing cataract surgery. Patients included were at least 60 years old with no history of glaucoma, ocular hypertension, eye trauma, use of intraocular pressure lowering drops, or intraoperative complications. Anterior chamber depth measurements were taken preoperatively, and intraocular pressure was checked both preoperatively and one day postoperatively using applination tonometry. Preoperative intraocular pressure was positively correlated with postoperative intraocular pressure. Preoperative anterior chamber depth was not significantly correlated with postoperative intraocular pressure nor the change in intraocular pressure. Age was negatively correlated with anterior chamber depth. Our results demonstrate no correlation between anterior chamber depth and one-day postoperative intraocular pressure in non-glaucomatous, non-ocular hypertensive patients undergoing cataract surgery. This suggests that preoperative anterior chamber depth may not be a reliable predictor for postoperative intraocular pressure in patients without pre-existing glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Future studies could examine patients longitudinally using different factors in predicting postoperative intraocular pressure.